click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I want to tell you guys something very, very important, right? When it comes to this game. And what you have to understand is, is that you do not owe a woman shit. Okay. You don't owe her anything. Right. And what I mean by this is a lot of times when you guys first start dealing with women, right? You think you need to, let's say, spend a lot of time with her right? Spend a lot of energy dealing with her, spend a lot of money when you're dealing with this woman, right? And you feel like you need to do this. You feel like you sort of owe it to her to get her to like you, to get her comfortable with you and all this other bullshit. Guess what? You don't owe her shit. You don't owe her anything. You don't owe her your time. You don't owe her your attention. You don't owe her your, you know, your money. You don't even owe her your dick. You understand what I'm saying? You don't owe her anything, right? And so what happens is a lot of guys get into situations with women where they're wasting a lot of time because they feel as if they owe this chick something, right? So there's times where you might have went on three dates with a woman because you thought you should do this in order to get her to like you or in order to get her to be comfortable with you. But you may not have necessarily wanted to go on three dates, but you did it because you felt like you were supposed to in order to get this girl to, you know, want to be with you. But you don't owe her three dates. You understand? You might have been talking to a girl on a phone for hours. You understand what I'm saying? Going back and forth with her, texting her, doing a whole bunch of shit. And you felt like this is what you were supposed to do to build rapport and get her comfortable with you. But you don't owe her that time and that energy. Right. But you think you do, which is why you're doing it. And in a lot of cases, you don't want to do it, but you think you're supposed to do it in order to get her to like you. Right. You don't owe her any of that. See, the thing is this, when you're dealing with women, what you want to do is you want to let chicks know what you want to do and then get the women who are going to follow that, get the women who are going to cooperate with that. If they're not cooperating with that, if they're not following that, then you keep it moving and you find a girl who wants to do the things that you want to do. But see, a lot of times you're doing the things that they want you to do because you think you owe it to them. So, for example, you might be on an online dating site. You want to you know, set up a date and, and make some happen. And you say, hey, text me. Here's my number. And she's like, oh, but can we talk more on the app first? Because this and this and that, right? So now you end up talking more on the app because you think that you're supposed to do this in order to get the girl to want to fuck with you, right? Instead of just charging her to the game and finding another chick or letting her know like, hey, listen, this here's my number. When you're ready to hit me up, hit me up and then call it a day, right? You don't owe her anything. See, even when it comes to, let's say sex, right? There's a lot of women who will say, because I was in a clubhouse app um, the other day and, you know, I was talking about like, hey, I, you know, sometimes I just, you know, fuck a chick and that's it. You understand what I'm saying? And so some of these women is like, oh, but you shouldn't do that because, you know, she might get emotional because sex is different for women. It's different. And, you know, women can't just have sex like that and blah, blah, blah and all this other nonsense, which is bullshit. You understand? Because women can fuck and keep it moving like it's nothing. You understand what I'm saying? They just say that shit because when they find a guy they like, they don't want the guy they like to move on you understand but that's a whole nother video but what you have to understand is that after you have sex with this woman you don't owe her anything you understand you don't need to stay with her you don't need to call her again you don't need to do shit you understand if you wanted to have sex and she wanted to have sex y'all were both consenting adults y'all both had sex right you do not owe her any more attention if you don't want to give it to her you see what i'm saying but they'll try to fool you into thinking you do because they don't want to you know they don't want you to go right see now the thing i would say about that is this and just in general is that what you want to do is you want to be honest 
with women and not necessarily just to be honest for them, but you want to also be honest for yourself because when you're honest, what happens is, is that you attract exactly what you want. But also on the flip side, what it does for the woman is it gives her a clear indication of what's going on so that she can make a conscious decision whether or not she wants to fuck with you. So let's talk about the example of you fucking a girl. If you let the girl know, hey, look, I'm just trying to smash. I'm just trying to hook up with you maybe a few times, whatever it is. And she is cool with that. Guess what? Y'all do your thing and then you just keep it pushing, right? And you already let her know honestly what you wanted to do. So you don't owe her anything. You told her this is what it was and that's what it's going to be. Now she starts catching feelings or she feels a certain way after that. Hey, that's on her. That, that sounds like a personal problem. You already done told her this is what it is. You see what I mean? And she's an adult, right? She's mature. She knows what she's doing so she can make that shit happen. You see what I'm saying? See, now, if you're in a long term relationship, right, there are certain things that you should do to maintain a long term relationship. So it's not that you necessarily owe your girlfriend or wife or whatever this particular energy or whatever it is, but you do this to maintain the relationship. You understand? You do certain things to maintain the relationship. She does certain things to maintain the relationship. Right. But you don't owe her anything. Think about it this way. A lot of times you're dealing with women. And you might have met a girl you liked and you try to make something happen and she might have fell off. She might have, uh, you know, stopped calling you. Um, she ghosted you, whatever the hell it was. Right. And, or she flaked on a date, whatever. Right. So she didn't owe you her time. You understand? She didn't owe you sex. She didn't owe you anything. So what makes you think you owe her something? Why is it that you feel the need to bend over backwards and do extra shit for this woman? You don't owe her nothing. See, and this is the key to one of the keys to having uh, good situations in this game, having things turn out how you want them to turn out without you overextending yourself and and, you know, putting out too much energy and just like doing a whole bunch of shit that's going to get you frustrated. Because if you say, hey, listen, I like to do A, B and C and you find women who want to also do A, B and C, you just kick it with them and you do that thing instead of you. Wanting to do A, B, and C, and this girl's like, I want to do D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, and then you're going all around in circles and you're doing all this extra shit for her, right? Thinking you owe it to her, and then you get frustrated in the game, you get pissed off when you don't get what you want, and that's because you think you owe her something. You don't owe her shit. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck. And I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.